ready for some concrete finally the concrete fella showed up and started getting ready to put some forms up the pad's too hard so he was going to come back uh, in a day or two and uh, with some metal rebar or some metal stakes so he could drive it in the ground a little easier but we did get the two forms for the water we're putting in set up yesterday so hopefully we'll get concrete on them and this uh, first of the week I won't be here to do that, so I'll have to probably show you the finished product instead of it getting done like I'd like to. But hey, this is exciting. We'll have to wait for it to cure a little while and we'll get the new bunks flipped over and put on top of it and uh, get ourselves a cable strung across so they can't come through the bunks, at least as easily, and probably put some fence panels on the end over here so we can get in there if we need to well i'll just show you the forms for the other two two deals stay tuned here's the forms for the uh water and the bulls pen the one that we're building the bunks at so the forms are set he's got to put some i think he's got to put some uh, chicken wire in it instead of rebar might sprinkle a little gravel in there. I'm not sure just yet. Not my decision on that one, probably. But once we get that poured, then I'll have to let it cure for a little bit, and then uh, we'll have a plumber come back and set the automatic water that we have in storage on there, just like we will for the other one. I'll go down and show you it too. And here's the other cattle water that we're doing. Had to put up some more panels to get around the forms in here. We've got cattle running in this lot right now. So this will just make watering them in this lot a heck of a lot easier. So put a little bit of fill, fill dirt in there. And we'll get some rock compacted around it. Keep it intact once we get it poured. Put some wire or something on it too for the concrete. Well, anyway, that's about all that's exciting that's going on at the farm right now. So today's probably oil change day. The bulls here had their first feeding of the day. Dad's been kind of trying to feed them twice a day. To, they're on full feed and uh, not getting fed any bales and rings. They're getting fed hay in their ration, total mixed ration. So they're. Uh, Fat, sassy, and happy right now. Just chilling, watching me walk. None of them batted an eye when I walked in here a second ago. What the heck you doing? What are you down here for? So this is what we've been doing for water for years. Just had a big tank and run it slow most of the day and works out okay, but occasionally gets forgot about and overflows and <laughs> a little hard to clean too if it happens to be full and get something in it so wish the project should make that that much better anyway we'll have to show you some concrete when that gets done good afternoon everybody we're pouring concrete today we already got some concrete poured now we're gonna get some more poured we gotta finish up one little bit over here i'll show you in a second and then my truck's gonna pour this big bunk here in the in front of y'all
dumpster. Okay. Here's the cattle water all formed up and poured and it's got a little bit left work to do on it there once it sets up a little better get the grit put on it that they'll get in a little bit this one didn't get poured all at once ran out this is the one that's going to be in the lot that the bulls we're going to be in we'll have to go down and check out the other one after a little bit well, there's that one and once it cures for a little bit, we'll come back and get the automatic water set on it. So we've got another truck that's backing up. You can hear the beeping probably. And this one's a porn. We're going to go check it out.
starting the second truck here. Here's the other cattle water we did. Got it all nice and framed up. A little harder to see because of the panels. It would probably have been better if we'd picked a leveler spot, but the eye's a little deceiving here. <laughs> it's all broomed up and finished up just like the other one was. Nice little hole for a water there. And we should be good to go. Well, they're getting the other one, the big pour finished up up there. taken off of and finish curing and then we'll be able to set the bunks up. So we'll give you a little view of everything here. Oh, here's a view of the finished pad, freshly poured. Got the post capped in concrete. About a 120 foot pad here. A little, a little 
little extra there that was left on the ground. So, we're excited and can't wait to get this all finished up. So hopefully we can get it finished up soon. Probably won't get finished for Christmas. Today is the 17th of December. So that probably won't happen. Busted a small limb off the tree here. I asked him if I needed to cut a few limbs and they assured me no. I think the answer was yes. <laughs> so, well, that is, that is that. And here's the cattle water for the bullpen. All finished off and broomed off. Sure looks good. Now we'll just have to get the water set and we'll be good to go. They used those blue tubs to cover up the holes while they were pouring so they didn't get any concrete down in there. You would have seen that on the uh, other water too or we'll see whatever order I decide to put the video in so yeah it's a nice uh, cool but not cold December day here it's cloudy Ooh, about 50 degrees or thereabouts it's supposed to get kind of chilly again tonight but oh we've got some Hereford heifers here that are all curious what's up girls how you doing? Nobody's camera shot it looks like. Probably can't get much closer to the runoff. They want fed. They're still getting fed twice a day. Well, that's pretty much a wrap on this project for today.